This is Matt from Dice Around the Table, and another board action short bit of rules explanations. And this one is about transport. So, thanks for subscribing to the channel, liking the video, comments, questions, check the description. Find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, as well as our website for some of the other things that we do. Anyway, so let's get to the table. We're just going to get to the table and we're going to be talking about transports because I feel like showing is better. So let's get to it. So in this case, we got an American truck. We got a squad of infantry. And we got a gun, anti-tank gun. Let's talk about what a transport is. A transport is any vehicle in bolt action in the army list that is designated as a transport capacity. It will tell you how many models the truck can take, not how many units. One exception. but So if I have this truck, and I have my lieutenant, and I had a squad of guys, they all can board the truck. Beginning of the game, if you declare a unit inside of a truck, if they're moving onto the board, you can do that. I will just declare this squad's in the truck, and let's say the lieutenant's in the truck. They stay off the board. The truck is the only thing I'm concerned about. The units in the transport can take a rally order or down order as long as they're in the transport. The lieutenant's bonuses, the only bonuses that work are his morale bonus to the transport and the units inside the truck. If this anti-tank gun is here, I can not snap two. I cannot give a morale bonus. Only what's in the truck or transport. Now, if there's guns on the transport, more than one, because usually on a transport, if there's a gun like a half track, that will shoot, be, a gun will be provided. But if there's a unit in the transport and there's more than one gun, so if you have an half, American half track with four machine guns on it, the squad inside can man the machine guns. Instead of just one gun shooting, all the guns can shoot. Now let's say the truck is empty. The transport, in this case, we'll call it transport, is empty. What can it do? It can do a couple of different things. It can run. It can advance. If it runs or advances, no one's getting in. Again, if this runs or advance, no one's getting in. I want to get in the transport. Well, I have this squad right here. They have this transport has not activated. I need to run them into the transport. These guys are six inches away. I have twelve inches. I'm good to go. They get into the transport. Now let's say these guys are over here. I'm running them. Six inches here. Six inches here. He is within one inch of the truck. He's good to go. Six inches. Six inches. Good to go. Six inches. Six inches. Let's see if this guy's good to go. Six inches. Six inches. I am measuring to the truck. He is more than one inch away from the truck. That means this unit cannot get into the truck. Because one guy is not within one inch, they cannot get into the truck. If he was within one inch of the truck, then the unit's good to go and they're in the truck. And that's the key. Your unit has to end within one inch of any part of the truck to get for the full unit get in the truck. If one model is not within one inch, they're not getting in the truck. Now, they're in the truck. The truck's turn to activate. The truck is simply going to have to go down because it cannot move after it's been loaded. On the next turn, the truck can do whatever it wants. Let's say the truck's advancing. So it's going to move its nice inches up the truck has it advanced the squad can jump out the squad can run out or advance out whatever your choice is they can advance out six inches so they just jump out 
but the key is any point of the truck they jump out. Okay. That's getting on, getting out of the truck. Uh, if a unit is charging the truck, transport, and it's empty, all you got to do is stand next to the vehicle. You're the closest model. At the end of the turn, this truck is now destroyed. It's been captured. It ran away, whatever. If a unit is within the truck and you charge the truck, this unit gets out of the truck and is deployed within six inches. So they can go wherever they want within six inches and you have to go attack that unit. This is just part of the rules. They can move six. They get out of the truck, move six in, up to six inches away. So if you're charging the truck and you think this is what's going to happen, it might. Or, you know, let's say there's a wall here. That squad can jump out of the truck, stand behind the wall, and make you attack them behind the wall. So, don't always just tra charge the transport. Look at what's around the transport, because that could really decide the close combat for you. Let's talk about guns. So, the truck comes up. A gun can only move six inches. So the crew's got the gun. They're within six inches. The gun is on a run order. The guys are in the truck. It does not matter how many miles this transport can do. If it's towing a gun, and again, you have to look at the weight of the gun and determine if the transport slash tow can tow that gun. Because not every transport can tow every gun. So, the gun is put at the back of the truck, the squad's in, the rest of the space is assumed to be taken up by ammunition. This truck has not activated, it will go down when it's, it's turns to activate because it cannot move with the gun attached. Unhooking the gun follows the same rules of infantry. You can advance the truck, you can run, you can advance the truck, this comes up and stays with it. You can't shoot the, the gun, you're only shooting the truck. And then you're going to hit run, and you can put the gun anywhere if you want six inches away from the truck. So you do have some flexibility that the, the, the length of the transport helps with the deployment so you can get that extra movement. So if the gun's like five inches away from the truck, and then you move the next turn, you can get 12 inches of movement, 5 inches here, that's 17, and then another 6 inches away from the truck, or 6. So you can get like 24 inches of movement on the table by transporting a gun and repositioning it. Just know it's going to take one turn, second turn to the ploy. That means third turn it can shoot. So hopefully you don't have to redeploy the gun too often. Otherwise, you're not going to get that many shots in a game. Now, let's say you want to attack the unit in the truck. You have to shoot the truck. If the truck blows up, that is on... Um, well, let's take about shooting the truck. Anytime a transport with, a trans with units on it, Everyone takes the same number of pins as the transport. So if the transport's getting hit with a mortar and it's or a high explosive and it gets two pins, everyone gets two pins. Now remember, the guys in the truck, they can take rally orders and help get rid of pins. If the transport blows up, then that's when you're going to go look at page 116, effects of damage on transport. If a transport vehicle is destroyed, each unit on board suffers a D6 hits. So that means if your lieutenant and the squad is on the transport, you're going to roll a dice for each. So that's two hits. Two hits. Roll this number of hits against each unit. Apply damage and remove casualties as normal. After this is resolved, any survivors are immediately forced to dismount. If a transport receives enough pins to markers to route it, any surviving units on board immediately forced to dismount, and they suffer no damage. So, 
Uh, and any miles forced to dismount need to run roll a d6. That's how many inches you're away from the truck. So this unit could be three inches away if they all survived. And this is, could be like three inches. So you can move them around and decide how you want to do it. And I think that covers transport capacity and some different things that happen. Transports and bolt action, towing guns, moving troops on the table, and getting them shot up or close assaults. If I missed anything, put them in the comments. And if you have questions, put them in the comments. If you appreciate the video, let me know. I appreciate that. Until next time.